Alrighty, welcome to Big Bean Farms and Prepping. So, I'm gonna go up by the pond and bring a chair to sit down with. So I can uh, relax with the red winged blackbird yelling at me. Because <laughs> I'm by her, her nest. And they're very territorial. So, either she's gonna get used to me, or she's gonna be yelling at me the whole time. I'm thinking. Yelling at me the whole time is gonna be. And there she up there. Darn it, darn it. So a lot of activity on the surface of the pond. Tadpoles, bluegill, minnows, turtles. Uh, a very healthy ecosystem, which has been my goal. Uh, and I'm adding to it all the time. And it's just my way of ensuring that we have a good healthy wildlife around here. Being out in the farmland, you know, when you're plowing fields and that, you're you're killing just about everything in there. I hate to break it to all you vegetarians and that, but you know, it's to eat, uh, regardless of what you're eating, you're killing something. That's just the law of nature. So today we got a lot of haze, and I guess it's from up north in Canada. Those fires. And because we haven't really had rain in a long time, nothing's knocking it out of the atmosphere. So hopefully we'll get some rain tonight or early tomorrow morning. Uh, kind of clear things up. Uh, further north of us, up in uh, northern Illinois and, and, and Wisconsin, it actually is kind of hard to breathe. So uh, it's not hard to breathe here yet. So today's talk is going to be about... Just general life. I've, I've got some fellow creators out there. I've been going through some tough times with their family. I'm not going to call them out. They, they know who they are, and we all kind of go through that. The old additives, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your relatives. And, you know, interacting with your your siblings or your your children and trying to raise them right and trying to, trying to understand what's going on and in their mind can be a, a real challenge. You know, and I don't, I don't claim to have any more knowledge than the next person. We all have our challenges in that, and I just try to let the kids know that, you know, I love them, and I hope the best for them. You know, as long as they're trying to improve themselves, the only times I get frustrated is when I really feel they're holding themselves back. As a parent, as a good parent, you want your kids to excel. You really want them to do better than you did yourself. It's going to give you the idea of all the activity on the surface here. Now that I've sat down and relaxed. And it's frustrating as a parent is when your child either gives up or makes poor decisions or makes a... a a decision and realize that maybe that decision will change as time goes by. We're all different people as we mature or we should be. The whole idea is you always want to be growing. When I was 18 I was full of energy and thought I knew something about the world. At 25 I thought I knew everything about the world. At 30 I started learning about the world. At 40, I realized there was a lot I still needed to didn't learn about the world. And at 60, I'm, I'm wondering what the hell is the world coming to? But, you know, we, wife and I raised three children and we love them and we want them to be successful. And, and we're watching them kind of go through some of the same stages we we went through and we're trying to give our advice whether they followed it or not is you know not any different than when our parents were trying to give us advice but you know we hope that they listen and they try to improve themselves and what what's frustrating is sometimes they don't try to you know sometimes they they make whether it's a poor decision because they're just being stubborn or they're just being hateful or they're just you know uh being depressed or 
or in despair. And a lot of times, the harder you try to help them, the more they push back. And sometimes you just got to let them go out there and try to learn it on their own. And the only thing you can do is tell them that, you know, you know, that we, we still love you and, and you know, what we, what we want is the best for you and, and what you're doing we may not agree with. And we're going to hope you'll see it. And then you got to sit there and at one point, unfortunately, you got to start living your own life. What happens sometimes is that person starts dragging you down that rabbit hole. And as hard as it is to do, and I'm not saying this is the right thing, I'm just saying at one point you have to reevaluate what I'm doing. Is it helping or is it hindering? You know, uh, how can I help somebody who won't communicate? How somebody who will only give me half the story won't give me the whole story? You know, and then when you, you, you spend time and you spend money and you spend effort and you get no return, it can be frustrating and then you find yourself getting frustrating and then you find it starting to uh, affect your health, your livelihood, possibly your marriage, possibly your friends within the, the family or your in the community. And at one point you have to say, okay, maybe it's time to take care of myself. It doesn't mean that you become, yeah, the old butterflies went by. Doesn't mean you come blind to the issue. That doesn't mean that you still don't offer support. Doesn't mean that you just totally write them off. But you got to start sometimes changing your plan. You know, if they're not appreciating you coming out and trying to help, if they're not appreciating the advice you're giving, not appreciating the help you're giving, or if they're abusing that, at one point you got to say, okay, I've, I've, I've told you all the advice I can give you. All I'm going to be doing now is repeating myself. And if you find yourself doing that, then you realize you're at that point where they stopped listening to you. You're now just background noise. So you need to pull back sometimes and take care of yourself and wait for them to reach out to you. And when they do, give them full support. But, uh, I think that's going to be my advice to some fellow creators I know are suffering because of, you know, friends or family doing harmful things or going to do harmful things or just not taking care of themselves and uh, not saying this goes, oh, now I feel better. No, it's, it's not one of those. It's just when it comes down to it, the adult is responsible for their own well-being. And you can be supportive and you can be motivating, but you can't motivate a person who refuses to get motivated. And sometimes you have to just kind of come down hard on them, you know, uh, and just say, you know, I, I've, I've said all I can say. All right. You know, I love you. And if that's not enough, well, then you're going to have to figure it out. And it, that's just life sometimes. Yeah, you know, with all this going out in the world, and there's a lot of them, and I think it's the cause of some things. I think formats like Twitter and TikTok, and Facebook to the extent, um, they put a lot of negative stuff out there. Not always. There are some positive stuff out there, but there is a lot of negative stuff brought out there. And I think people start watching it all the time, and, and it gets them negative. And that's why I say if, if, the, if the message is not a positive message, then you need to switch channels. I think that's a big bluegill there. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. It almost looks like there's a big bluegill right up at the surface. Of course, they haven't moved. I get up and it moves. Yep, it was. It was a big bluegill on the surface there. I had to get up and make sure it moves. So, for those that are, are having straining times because of family members and that, all I can say is just try to, you know, continue to be supportive, but start taking care of yourself. 
you know, um, one of them brought up a good thing where, you know, they decided that they started thinking to take the weekends off and, and, and have that for yourself. And I think that was a, a real good decision. You know, I, I'm kind of starting to do that too. I mean, I, I still put out videos on the weekends because I'm doing fun stuff, but they're not getting uploaded until Monday. You know, and uh, I think it's going to be Monday through Friday is when I do my normal routine. And, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So I think at one point, you know, Saturday and Sundays are going to be for me. You know, I, I know that I do get more people motivated to work out and that, but there's a lot of videos out there already doing that of my own. And I'm looking at the time and effort I'm putting into the channel and what I'm getting out of it. And I think I can get the same amount out of it and spend less time and effort. So I, I think that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to start doing is it's summer it's beautiful out here i'm going to be doing things and, and not particularly care if i have it on video or not you know i'll still put up some meal premieres and that but you know to go from where my live streams or premieres were getting a couple hundred views to now 30 40 views it's like either what i'm putting out is no longer entertaining or valid which is fine if that's the case and that means it's i need to be doing something else and a lot of it is it's summer, and people hopefully are following my advice and going out and enjoying the outside. So there's nothing wrong with that either. But, uh, you know, maybe wintertime I'll, I'll start doing more. But right now I'm going to concentrate on what's going on around the house and what's going on with the, the missus and I. We're, we've decided that we're going to start taking care of ourselves. We're going to start splurging on ourselves. All right, the kids are grown. You know, and uh, they invite us out. We'll come out and see them. But we're gonna we're gonna start spending more time and more of our resources for what we need. It's you know time to be a little bit selfish, only because, on the most part, I I don't think the effort's being appreciated. Not that it has to be. There's no rules saying they have to. And the only mistake you can make is keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. So I think it's time to change things up, have a little bit more fun, you know, enjoy my walks, enjoy my throwing a discus and that July 11th. I do hope to be live streaming it. If not, I will put up the videos later. We'll see what sort of internet I can get. Hopefully Jason, the angry prepper, will be able to join me. He said he would definitely would like to do that, but you know, he's a busy man and I understand that. But if he does join me, that would be great. So this is my chat out by the pond. You can kind of see why it's so... I mean, you know, just, there, there's so much life there. There's turtles, there's bluegill, there's minnows, there's tadpoles. Probably some snakes hanging around. Might even be some salamanders. And uh, one or two very irritating red-winged blackbirds. <laughs> Only because they always set up a nest here. Either he's going to get used to me or he's he's going to lose his voice. I don't care. Hope to get some more rain. The pond is down pretty low. You can kind of tell. It's probably down about two feet. And some fresh rain is probably needed to freshen up the water. Otherwise, you know, you do stand a chance of getting some die-offs. So I might have to fish some of the bluegill out of there. Just to, uh, well, number one, they're good eating. And just to, you know, kind of remove some of the population out of there. But obviously I'm starting to see some big fish there. So I think I might do that one of these days. Everybody enjoy your week. It's Tuesday. So far it's been a really lovely summer. Try to have fun. Try to stay up in shape. Eat healthy. Turn the TV off. And plenty of rest and nutrition and proper exercise. Like Bean Scott's Fitness Farms and Prepping and Wildlife, out.